Hi, this is Jared Walton with Tom's Hardware once again, and today I'm looking at the MSI RTX Gaming X Trio. We're going to do some thermal testing here, and we're running the card with Metro Exodus and going from the desktop to 4K Ultra with ray tracing and DLSS enabled. We're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes, and then we're going to exit and go back to the desktop. So this is time accelerated and it's only going to take about a minute and a half, but let's go ahead and we've kicked off Metro Exodus and here is where the game itself actually loads. As you watch for the next several minutes, you'll see that the temperature goes from a surface temperature saying 40 degrees up to about 78 degrees Celsius. What's important to note is that the FLIR sensor that we're using is not super accurate. From what we can tell, it's about 10 degrees Celsius hot. So the actual surface temperature is more like 65 degrees Celsius, give or take. And so there you go. This is, again, time compressed. So it's been about 10 to 15 minutes of running the game. We've hit peak temperatures and you can see various surfaces on the back of the card here are hotter than others. Obviously closer to the GPU is the hottest, but there's also a hot spot on the left there where some of the voltage regulation is happening. And that does it for the heat up. Now let's go ahead and exit and return to the desktop. So we've closed here and now we are watching temperatures drop and it takes a few minutes, but eventually you get back to close to ambient temperature. Note that the fan speed does slow down as the temperature drops. So, you know, if you crank the fan speed up to 50% and just left it there, you'd get thermals dropping much more quickly than we're showing here. Anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we will be back with more content in the future.